Hi, Michelle. I finally got my bag. I finally got my bag. Well, actually, I got the bag, brought it to Boston, because I'm doing a, a tribute to Alan and uh, to Alan Dawson. I'm at Berkeley. This is my uh, teaching office here. And um, I wanted to share with you guys what's inside what I normally keep inside my bag. So this particular, it depends on the project that I'm doing. Um, the project that I did a few weeks back, I did a project with Marcus Miller. Totally different set of symbols. You know, drummers were all particular. You know, you know, it has to be specific sound. <laughs> but this particular gig is more of a, I'm playing tribute to Alan, as I said. So it's a more traditional sounding gig. And I'm trying to get as close to that traditional sound. For most jazz gigs, maybe in the last five or six years, I've been using these click hats, and they're 14 inches. Now, you've probably seen me play. Normally, I play 13-inch fusion hats. But uh, for this particular gig, really traditional sounding, swing type of gigs, um, I, will, I will use these 14 inches. Crash. I've been using these prototypes lately. These crash, this is um, probably a 16 inch crash. And I use this as a prototype crash, so it doesn't have a label. So I use that to my right. To my left, on a traditional jazz gig, I use a flat bell ride. And lastly, I'll use this, I have this artisan, a couple of rivets in it, I think it's a 21. Pretty washy ride symbol. I really love this for traditional jazz gig. So thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Reunion Blues. You guys are the best. I'll talk to you soon. It's Billy.